Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam Wolf and this is Skyrim No Fast Travel Challenge. We're here at the Frostfruit Inn. <clears throat> we didn't make it to our destination last time. So we're going to continue that journey. I'm actually curious. Where were we going? <laughs> ah, right. I was doing some random thing. However, I did get some information from our friend Elizabeth in the comment section saying that if you guys remember back, there's a cave in uh, Soul's Time where I couldn't get into the cave because I had to get a pick. I, I don't know what I, I think I had to gather something. Um, where is it right here? There you go. It's this one right here. It's part of the Death Brand um, quest or, you know, armor set. Um, and I had to get into Gildenhull Barrow. And Lisbeth had said that there is a quest, I think, in Raven Rock that uh, allows get gets you the uh, the pickaxe. So we might actually go ahead and do that. But I do want to actually, you know, go ahead and finish this up, finish up our journey, get to where we were headed in the first place. Let us be on our way. They do not serve my favorite hot chocolate here. Ah, back in Skyrim. All right, are we going the wrong way? Right, we gotta go to Solitude. Um, we have to go turn around. Hold on. Yes, we have to go this way. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Grab yourselves a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Mm. I got myself a cup of coffee. It is actually a cold, rainy day today. Recording this on Sunday, as yesterday I was, man, I was exhausted. Um, I never noticed that before. That's a weird glitch. Anyway, um, went to help my dad put, stack the wood, and sadly it's only one cord. He's getting three, three cords of wood. He usually only, he used to only get two. So, and they only delivered one. I guess they'll deliver the other two this week or something. But, uh, yeah, it was just me and him. My mom tried to help, but <laughs> I really wish she would stop trying to do that. This is, I think I've been... I've been to this this road sign before. This has got to be a glitch, right? Because it's like, that says Markarth. This says Markarth. Well, Markarth can't be in both directions. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but I think we do have to go this way for solitude. <clears throat> I think that's what it's supposed to say is solitude. Um, no, my mom really shouldn't have tried to help. She's just too old. I say that with the utmost respect. <laughs> They're both too old. Dad shouldn't have been really helping either, but he can handle it a little bit better than my mom. The mom needs to stop doing things that are labor intense. It's not good for her. Anyway, um, normally my younger brother would be there. But, uh, 
he uh, he had to go take his his son to a birthday party. So that'll be that that hopefully turned out good. Yeah, see, this one says solitude, so that that signpost no doubt probably is meant to say solitude. <clears throat> so hopefully Lucas had a good time. But it wasn't so bad. One chord was not a problem. It, it's this. Are you serious? Anyway. Uh, it's the stacking that I hate. It's not really. It's not that easy. To. Well. Yeah. I mean because the pieces are all different. You know. You have to try and stack it as best you can. Uh, and I wish my dad would just be okay with stacking it uh, like you would normally see wood stacked. You know, kind of like in a pyramid shape or triangle shape or whatever that, you know, I don't know. Basically just stacking them on top of each other. But, you know, he stacks them on pallets, which is fine. But he wants it stacked in a way where air could get through them to dry out the the pieces, you know, the winter the snow uh, the the snow in the winter would definitely you know make some of the pieces wet so he'd want the air to be able to get through to dry them out as best as it could um what is that weird effect you guys seeing that on the left side of the screen i don't know if it's happening on the right side of the screen no it's not i know i know i turned the settings down but i didn't expect some weird freaking glitch. Anyway, <clears throat> I really should be expecting weird glitches with this game. I don't know what the hell I'm I don't know what I'm saying. Uh anyway, so <clears throat> uh yeah. So he wants them stacked kind of like in a uh cross hatch sort of way. Basically, you just stack them stack opposite of, of each uh, with each layer. <clears throat> um And that he wanted to try a, a new way to do it, which was we have two or three pieces capping the ends, kind of making it a box on uh, a, like a like a barrier on either side, and then we would overlay the next layer on top like it's, it's kind of weird to explain I'm not doing a very good job uh how am I gonna say this it was it was a different pattern that he wanted to do on the first pallet and that took longer than the than the old way of stacking so I was like you know what second pallet I'm just gonna st stack the old way and it was way faster it was way faster and uh so I, I just decided to go with that. And I feel like I got way more layers and I was able to fit more. Oh, oh my I'm god. That got you like a fish. <laughs> nice try. But you don't scare. Me. That, that's weird. Never should have come. She put her her knife I could have just gotten away, with, you know, just not had to deal with her, but, uh, I mean, why wouldn't I kill her? She's a thief. That's weird, though. Like, I... <laughs> I literally just hit exit, and it, it, she just gave up. I didn't know you could do that. First, you try to intimidate them. Nice try, you don't scare me. Then you skip. You hit exit, and they just put their knife away. So, if you ever in a, uh, ever uh, attacked by a thief... Just um, do that. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, so yeah, I did that yesterday. It was a nice day. Holy crap, it was nice. Sun shining, clouds in the sky. Though the clouds kind of disappeared. It was windy yesterday, so the clouds kind of just drifted away, and it turned out to be a 
a beautiful day. So I had no no qualms about it. But he says those three chords should last him like three years. If we have a winter this year similar to the one last year, then it should be a normal winter. Normal winter has snow in it. <laughs> There's been a few years prior to last year where it was very dry. Not a lot of snow. It's very unusual. But last year was definitely, you know, good amount of snow. You knew it was winter. <laughs> okay, we made it to solitude. Or back to solitude, because we should have never left without checking first. I've got a little work if you're interested. I don't take work from people who are standing naked in the town square. Captain, Angela sent me to ask her uh, ask about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. I think Angela needs to know. I I've been trying to find time and place to let her know. She's dead. The daughter was sent to White Run. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White Run legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morag, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Oof. Did you confirm this? Now, this will be interesting if we, like, find out I that should. she survived. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Your happy demeanor is about to be shattered. It's good to see a fresh face. <coughs> you wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? I can be persuasive. Angela, this is Mirard. Your daughter is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. Well, if it's brave. I can't thank you for it. Not for this. But you have done me a service. You're welcome. I'm sorry for your loss. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. I have no parents. Please don't follow me. Um, uh, oh. Because I was going behind the... I didn't want to do that. Sorry. You know, I haven't done anything with my alchemy in a while. Is that what she is? Right? Yeah, she's... No, oh, come here. No, I want to buy. I want to buy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Alright, okay, so she's got potions. That's fine. Aversion to fire. Target is 55% weaker. Okay. Alright, ingredients. <clears throat> we need potions. We need to make healing potions. So, we got blue mountain flowers, which we could totally just go and get. There's so much of it. Um, there's a butterfly wing. Resist magic. Yep. Let's get those. I suppose we should work on resist fire, resist cold, those to resist magic in general. So we can do those. That's fine. Um, resist fire. Resist frost. Okay. Resist poison. 
There's resist. I, I think I'd actually prefer just doing resist magic in general, just because it's, well, it encompasses all magic. All of them. But it's not terribly, you know, expensive, so it's fine. Nern Root. This also does resist magic. Resist Frost. This is Restore Health. <clears throat> resist Frost. Resist Frost. Resist Fire. Frost. Magic. Restore Health. Ooh, Wheat. Wait, what kind of books does she have? I am fear poison paralysis. Okay, we're good. No, no. Mostly I'm just a simple herbalist. Lamy over in Morthal should be able to help you. In Morthal? Thanks again for finding out about my daughter. You're welcome. You're not going to follow me. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's work on our alchemy. Cuz that was that was something we started a while ago and we still haven't done anything with it for a while. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do restore health first. Right? These two first. No. Um, don't need that. Let's do the resist magic. Oh, I guess it really doesn't matter. They should all use different things, I believe. I don't have enough for all this. Hey, there you go. All right. Ooh, 13 Nern Root. I have been gathering up a lot of this, haven't I? Um... Dude, nice. That is the the goal is to just basically use up all of my ingredients. Use as many as I can, but sometimes it doesn't work out and we're left with some ingredients. But that's good. This is good. I have so many potions. Cure poison. Deadly friend oh. Creatures and people will attack. I should probably sell some of these actually before I leave. Let's do that. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I would like to sell you some potions that I don't plan on using. 184, not bad. Uh, deadly stamina. Mm, since we're not using magic, should we just sell her our magic potions? Hmm. I think so, because there. I mean, these there's magic of potions all over the world, so. Health regenerates. Okay, we need that. Extra magicka. Health regeneration. Resist cold, right? Resist cold. Cure disease. Definitely keeping those, obviously. Stamina. Yeah, I guess we'll keep stamina because, like, I may not use the slow function of the the bow and arrow that much, but I might need it if I need to swap to my, he my uh, hammer. I was going to say heavy hammer. My hammer. Fortify Magicka. Get rid of that. Stamina, healing, regenerate Magicka. Yep. I just... Oh. Damn it. I keep forgetting these... Forget me next time you need herbs and I keep forgetting these freaking <laughs> vendors only have a limited number of... Or limited amount of money. I get what they were trying to go for, but it was... It, it's stupid. You know, it doesn't really All right, fine. Oh, what a light. Another charming customer. <laughs> Do you get a lot of business like that? Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Bad day. 
It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Wow. So she's a bitch. Got it. Take a look. Well, sadly for you, I'm going to... Uh, I can't sell to her. Damn it. Why do I have this? I probably picked it up. Stamina regenerates, modifies the wearer's worn equipment. That one's pretty cool. I'll sell that to you. So she's one I can sell jewelry to, which is good. Uh, actually, if we can't find an outfit that suits you. I'm not looking for an outfit there. Uh, alteration spells, magic regenerates 100% faster. Restoration spells, Alakir, Hood. Destruction spells. I wouldn't even know what to give Aranea for gear. Because you just have to assume that NPCs or, you know, even your, um, your followers, they just have unlimited resources, right? Except for their health. Thirty-five. I st I'm still beating it by five percent. Wow, there's a lot in here. What the hell? Crabber's charm. <laughs> That's got. There's got to be a reason for that. That can't just be like a necklace you could put on. There's got to be something to that. Otherwise, why would it be a fancy looking charm necklace? Whatever. Weapons and armor can be improved 22% better. Prices are 12% higher, better. Stamina regenerates 50%. Wow. Whoa, wait, hold on. Those vagrant robes actually look pretty cool. I'm not going to buy it, but like, they look pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I like the color scheme, black and orange. That's like, it's very Halloween of them. I wonder if the ring that I have here, my ring of disrobing, modifies the wearer's worn equipment. I'm guessing it just, what that does is just disrobes you. All right, I'm never coming back to this bitch again. Holy crap. Some gold for a veteran? Nope. Uh, okay. So, let's see the Bard's College. I guess, I mean, if we're going to go back to Soul's Time, we can do this one as well. Hmm. Wow, this list is getting small. Holy crap, we're actually finally we're getting rid of it. Nice. Alright, so this is Finding the location of the person who sent us that letter. Or going to it, at least. What is that? Oh my god, it's actually just outside. <gasps> there we go. Hey, see, this is why I check before I leave. Give me a couple of those. And if I can catch the butterflies, I will. Is that fur? Coming out of your ears. Is that blood spilling out of your guts if I stab you? Why, yes it is. I wish I could craft potions on the on the go, but uh like, you know, have a portable Portable alchemy station or something, you know? I wonder if that's something the modders might have actually taken care of. They're just like, yeah, let's, uh... What does Lavender do again? Resist magic. Okay, I don't need that. Oh, you know, I probably should have just sold her... Wait, is that... It's got to be... Below the Blue Palace, right? Mm -hmm. 
Do I have any thistle? What does thistle do? No, I don't. Let's find out. I can't be bothered to remember all this. Resist frost. Okay, that's good. We can definitely grab thistle. I just want to make sure that I have enough different potions for any situation. I've learned my lesson. And the purple mountain flower, we definitely use for resisting frost. So that's good. So ba basically, I think, was it the red one? <laughs> Damage health. Okay, so we don't need the red one. That's for restoring magicka. But the blue and the purple, definitely. Okay, Arne. Uh, looks like you're going to be swimming. It's funny, there's never been a moment here where... Yes, How can I help you? Where you can go down the stairs of any place, reasonably. Looking to hire a boat? Nope. Now, it'll suck if it's actually in the Blue Palace, which it doesn't look like it is. But that's why I'm going over here first, since I can walk on water, I might as well. Arnea can... Swim. I don't see her, though. I have no idea. I don't know why she's she's not swimming, but... Whatever. I heard Nern Root. Oh, see? Oh, yeah, see? There she is. <laughs> I knew she'd find her way. What about the blue butterfly? Wow, there's a ton here. I hate the fact that I have to be so exact with my... Lots of butterflies, lots of butterflies. Need them, I think. What's the blue butterfly do? Stamina, conjuration. Okay, so I don't need that. That's damaged stamina, that is. I don't need that. So I don't need red. I don't think I've ever explored over here. It can't be in the palace, right? It's showing... It's not showing that other icon that says that it's indoors. This one's showing regular. Oh, my headset's actually going to die. Ah. Hello. Make it quick. You must be the one who sent that note. Indeed. Whoa, she's got gold eyes. Oh. The oh. I believe I have what you're looking for. Very well. Here, take she this for your troubles. Gave me her helmet. I suppose this is goodbye. It would seem so. Does it have to? Oh! Well, she gave me her helmet. I wonder what she would have given me if I gave her the other piece. But I don't know if I can use it or need it. Whoa! Excuse me? I didn't even look at this. Lockpicking, archery, and alchemy are 20% better. I mean, I you know, lockpicking is whatever, but alchemy and archery? Oh. Wow, I didn't even notice this either. Magic regenerates 100% faster. Increase your stamina by 70%. Yeah. Mm. 
Whoa, green and purple butterflies. Those are a thing. Hold up. Gotta eat one of Restore magic and fear. Regenerate magic or regenerate health. Okay, so the purple butterfly wing is useful. I just didn't know that was a thing. Extreme healing. Take that for money. Who the heck was that chick? Hmm. Huh. Well, that was weird. I wish I knew she was going to give me something. I would have liked to see what the other thing would have been, but whatever. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to hook up my um, headset to an auxiliary cable because the battery is dying and I don't really have a means to charge it at the moment. Okay. Uh, that's all done. Um, sorry about the crackling, of course. Uh, yeah, that's not here, right? Yeah, no. Okay, we're good. I don't know why I'm confused. All right. <clears throat> oh, my God. The list is on one page now, and it's not going to... I mean, it's all on one page, but I mean, it's, it's not going to scroll. <gasps> Let's do this. All right. We're, we're knocking off the miscellaneous quests. Yeah, baby. Yeah. We're making progress, boys. Let's go. Mm. I love the taste of my coffee. You know, I just have black coffee with honey in it. Uh, you know, and I'm, I've gotten used to the taste of it. I don't dislike it. I actually like it a lot. I do, however, miss... <clears throat> like very much the uh, the texture of creamer and not even just creamer but like the powdered creamer from like for coffee made or something like that it gives it a silkiness to it and I think I think that has a lot to do with the oil ingredients that they have in those um but the problem is, is that, well, the trans fats in it, they're not good for you. Trans fats has never been good for you. But once I found out that they, uh, they have trans fats in it, but because it's a minuscule amount of them, they're not legally obligated to report them in the ingredients or in the uh, nutritional label. You have to actually read the ingredients To find out, you know, that it has trans fats in it. It's very disappointing. Like, I suppose the amount of trans fats in it really isn't that big a deal. I only used, I think, one spoon. One spoonful of that powder. And it was perfect consistency. But, well, actually it was two. But it wasn't like two full spoons. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would scoop and then shake it off till it's about relatively level with the the edge of the spoon and that's how I would measure it so I'd get two of those it was the perfect consistency um, and I miss it I do miss that that silky smooth texture that it gave my coffee 
Not even the liquid creamer did that. But I used it with every cup of coffee. And, well, that minuscule amount of trans fats, that'll add up quickly. It'll add up real quick. So, I had to, uh, I had to stop using it. I mean, if, if anything, my coffee has to have honey in it. Like, it, I've, I've tried sugar again, and it's just, it's not good. Not recently, but uh, in the past, when I ran out of honey, I was like, okay, well, sugar can't be that bad. It's, it's bad. <laughs> the taste of my coffee is awful with, with regular granulated sugar. No, thank you, says I. All right, so we have to head all the way over to Windhelm to get on a ship unless... Hold the phone. Wait, no, because I didn't see anybody down there that would have been able to take me to... I think you can only get to Soul's time from Windhelm, which is a bit unfortunate. to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has Good man. That's the right that's the right idea. All right, we got a long way to travel. So, I know you guys are dying to find out what bowling was like on Friday. It was my best night so far. I started off strong. And it wasn't like, oh, I started off bad and got better or started off strong and got worse. No, this was like a consistent night for once. Started off strong, got myself a 217. Oh, yeah. Your boy was cooking. Damn, I'm going to weigh myself down with flowers again. It's just the blue and the purple and the thistle, all that stuff. I need it. If you're looking for a room, you want to um... Do I still have my skill points? Yeah, I do. Should we put it in alchemy, actually? Let's see. Hold on. There we go. I mean, if we can. Yeah, no, we have to improve it first. That sucks. Oh, well. Um, started off strong with a 217. I actually started off with five strikes in a row, which was good. Um, I just found my rhythm, man. And towards the end of the first game, I think it was the ninth frame, I noticed that my my ball was hooking harder. Like it was, it was definitely hooking earlier, which means that the oil was moved down and it was drying up there. So. I was, first of all, really proud of the fact that I noticed that. And secondly, it gave me a chance to figure out, okay, do I move or do I make the ball go faster? Do I put more oomph in it? And the first the first chance, so um, I think it was frame 9, but I had the frame 9, frame 10, whatever. Frame 10, I moved to the left a little bit. Hit the pocket. Perfect. Left the 10. So... Moving definitely was a good idea. But then the next game, I said, you know what? I'm going to stay in the same spot. I'm just going to throw it faster. Because I usually try to keep it around 14, well, around 15 miles an hour. Um, but I was like, okay, it's hooking earlier. I got to get it down the lane faster. So that the hook kind of happens a little later. And I stuck with that. Uh, I was not consistent with the speed. It's kind of difficult for me to throw it at 16 miles an hour on a constant basis. Because my arm generates about 14 to 15 miles an hour just by itself. So, you know... I didn't want to put too much power, but I didn't want to put too little, and that was the balance that I couldn't find. It was difficult. Um, 
but it didn't seem to really it, if nothing else my ball would go through the nose of the pins so right through the center it was <laughs> twice in a row it left with it left the 3 and 10 yeah the 3 and 10 for a split two frames in a row the same split and then I got the same split like for a third time in the third game. I'm like, what the hell, dude? Um, so needless to say, I'm I'm happy that I recognized that it was drying up and I had to adjust. That's one thing that I've been very poor at over the many years I've bowled is not recognizing that the oil pattern is changing. It's not the same, so I have to change up my strategy. Uh, moving to the left probably would have been the better option just in general because it would have allowed me to stay at the same speed but I would have had to throw it out uh, to the right a little bit more in order for the hook to make it come back. Essentially... It basically, what it would do is that I'd throw the ball out on an arc, a little bit more um, heavy of an arc, so that it gave time for the hook to, you know, do its thing, instead of throwing it straight and then hooking, which is what I normally do. But I stuck with throwing it, you know, with the, uh, with the adjustment of speed rather than the position that I was standing in. But again... The, the first throw that I got off of changing my spot, it landed in the pocket, but no dice. And I'm like, if if that's the way it's going to be, I just, I was like, it, it missed the 10. And if that's the way it was going to be, eh, I think I'll just stick to my old spot, just throw it faster. Which is, I'm fully capable of doing, but to get it the right speed, trying to throw it faster, that's hard. That's really hard to do. So, I'm just happy I recognized that it was changing, that things were changing. So, I was like, okay, cool. I'm getting better. But anyway, I digress. So, first game, 217. Second game, which is when I recognized that the pattern was changing, um, oil was drying up, I got a 189, but that's my average. So, I was able to hit my average on the second game, which is still good. You either hit or exceed your average, you're going to be in good shape. Third game, 202. I think that's the first time during league that I've hit two games at 200. And this was this was a night to do it because the team we were facing, they weren't good at all. They were really bad, actually. The only, the only good player on their team was a former teammate of mine from last season. Uh, and neither, no, no, nobody liked him. Nobody likes him at all. Um, he was... He was fine when I first started, but then he just got grumpier and less supportive. Not of us, but of other people. You know, this isn't a serious league. This is a fun league. We There's a handicap involved. Um, I'd like to see how I could do without a handicap personally, but, you know, you just take your handicap away and boom, there's your there's how you're doing. <laughs> um But he was always, he was unsportsmanlike to other teams. I understand that he wanted to win, but it's like, dude, it's not, like, most of us don't care. I love to win, don't get me wrong. You know, Gideon Emery, you're like one of my favorite voice actors, and I don't want to have to beat your ass, but I might actually have to do that. You got some nice armor. Hold on. You really shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Back off. Now. I don't have to take that from you. Let's go. I want that armor. That's why I'm killing you. Not because you opened your mouth, but it's because you have nice armor. Now oh, I whiffed. You have no idea who I am.
I'm sorry, Gideon. You made me do it. Yeah, I know. He's got ebony armor. Okay, so it's just a steel plate helmet. Okay. I thought it was like maybe ebony helmet or something, which I don't even know if I have. There's nothing special, though. Um, iron ore. My smithing is definitely something I'd like to improve as well, but I think we can need to just focus on one thing at a time, shall we? Alchemy is hard enough because <laughs> I don't do it enough. It's taking a long time to get that uh, get that level up. So anyway, yeah, it felt really good. Yeah, I, Friday was fantastic for me. Um, anyway, so long story short, the other team was not good. The only good player on their team was an ex-team member of mine who we don't like. Uh, and then once they told him that they were going to kick him out of the league, he changed his tune real fast. They told us that they were going to kick him out, but I think they took sympathy on the guy because he's like, I don't know, 70. But 70 with a bad attitude doesn't actually change the fact that you have a bad attitude. You know, your age doesn't excuse that. So, you know, not a serious, not a serious league, dude. We're all here to have fun, which we all, I do every, every week I have fun because it's so, it's such a fun game. Um, but also we're not here to win. We're here to improve ourselves. Most of us are. I certainly am. I, I go in every week wanting to do better than last week. Now, <laughs> whether I need to do better than this week, this past week, I, I mean, I, you could always do better. What's cotton do? Cotton? Cotton. Where's the cotton? Oh, there's tundra cotton, right? Resist magic. Definitely could use that too. Um, but he was just a crabby old man. So once they told him that he was going to get kicked out, I'm sure that I think that's when he changed his tune. And now he's on an even worse team. Like he could have been on our team if he just had, you know, had a better attitude. But, um, and we're in fifth place right now. We were in third, but damage magicka regenerate health. Okay, we definitely need those. But. You know, we we didn't win against last week's team, uh, 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 last week's op opponent, because they were like they're like some of the best players in the league. Um, you know, they all got upwards of one eighty or two hundred games, so yeah, they're pretty. They were pretty good. We won one game against them. Second game, they were just I don't know what they were doing, but they were not doing well. As they did in the first game. Um, but I'd say top five is pretty good. <laughs> five out of 12 teams, I think. Or 14. I can't remember how many teams there are. I think it's 14. Uh, but yeah, no, he's like the best player on their team. He's got like an average of like 185 or something like that. The rest of them are in the double digits of average uh, averages so they're really bad and we we saw it they were just regular people just out having fun at bowling which is fine but you know now dan is on that team and uh he's probably hating himself right now it's like yeah nobody wants to play with you dude because you're a crabby old man He's lucky that his teammates right now just don't care. But he's not as crabby anymore because, well, he's on the team that he's on. But we crushed him. So we, we won all, all three games. And then winning all three games gives us two extra points. Last year it was only one. So you'd get four points if you won all three games. Uh and basically win the series. But that made it so that teams could tie and they're trying to avoid that. So um, we get two extra points now for winning the series. But we won all three games, so we got five points total 
this time around, which is great. And we were at 14 points, so we're at 19 now. Um, the top team, I think, had 22, so it's, yeah. Out! Oh, there we go. Yeah, you, you, okay. You got me, man. You, you snuck up on me. You're not going to be able to kill me. I'll just stand here. Okay, I, maybe you could kill me, but that's only because you're screwing up my shot. I know it'd just be it would be easy just to join, join the Dark Brotherhood and just get it get it done so that these guys would stop attacking me, but not going to do that right now. Probably not going to do it ever. We're getting to the end of the series. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we're. And, and more than likely, the, the, uh, the team in first place has probably pulled away quite a bit. Um, and the team in first place, I think, is the one that we faced last week. So, you know, and we won one game against them. So it's, it's difficult to get to first place, especially when you got players like that who are just actually pretty good. <laughs> we're, we're not going to catch up because Tony's inconsistent. Um, this week he did much better than last week, for sure. Like, by a mile. He did much better this week. But he's inconsistent. Nicole is new to the team. But, and she has okay form. But she keeps shanking it to the left. And she's not consistent with her throw. You know, she can still get into the hundreds, which is good but less so than the rest of us. Uh, and Dimitri's much better this year. Like he's, he's found his spot, and he recognizes where he needs to stand, when he needs to adjust. He's way better this year. He killed it the last couple of weeks, so I have no... I don't worry about him. Tony I worry about because it's like he does better in his league that he's in in Saratoga, than he does in here and it's like why can't you just be good here as well like it's different lanes different you know different oil patterns so it's I, I understand it's difficult to kind of adjust but at the same time it's like like dude you both you've bowled at both locations on a consistent basis like why are you why are you not doing well here you know these lanes you know how they work so oh these are actually like they're just walking down the damn street what the hell hold on hold on all right i just want to make sure i had the right that's the best you can do bandit chief oh that was bad I mean, we were gonna we we're gonna leave you alone, but you guys just decided to attack us. It's all in self defense. That's what I'm gonna tell the uh, the National Guard. Nice shots. Look at that. Where the other two go? There were four of you. Nope. There's there's no submitting with me. Oh, they got thrown down here <laughs> in the trash heap where they belong. There we go. Okay, well, that's only two of them. There was four of them. So I don't know what happened. I don't know where the fourth one went, but I was willing to let them live. Oh, she's still fighting her. Or what? What happened? What were you doing? Where's the fourth one? Huh. Oh well. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, Nicole just needs practice. That's all it is. You know, and I told her I didn't want to be that guy that just like tells you what to do. And she's like, please let me know. And I'm like, you know what? Tony's telling her. 
he's only been at the game for about four to five years. He's only been bowling four to five years. And the fact that he's as good as he is in four or five years is, is pretty impressive. I've been at the game since I was like 10. So you think I should be a coach, but. And I can recognize, you know, when I if I watch somebody bowl, I personally think um, with the way that she bowls, she's, you know, throwing it to the left a lot. Um, I think Tony told her to stand further to the right, which is not correct. She needs to stand to the left to adjust for the fact that she throws it to the left. Because standing to the left will force her to throw it a little bit more to the right. Kind of offset the fact that she crosses her arm in front of her body, which is what causes her to throw it to the left. Uh, but I'm going to let Tony... You know, tell her what's what. I suppose I could be a coach. Um, I tried to help Dimitri, and, you know, he listened to some things that I had to say, but this is also when he was still throwing two handed. And I'm not a two handed thrower. I just recognize how to do it and I picked it up pretty well, but I was not accurate. So I just got lucky sometimes. But, you know, if Dimitri was still throwing one-handed, I could, I could coach him there. But he, he's also, uh, he's Dimitri. He, he listened for a, a short bit, and then he just said, screw it. <laughs> I'm not going to listen. Like, it, it's not like he won't listen, but he, he just, I don't know how to, he, he's sarcastic. So his sarcasm sets in, and then it's just like, well... Or he gets in his own head, and he's like, oh, man, I'm sucking really bad. I, I, I Screw this game. And then he just won't listen to, any, any, to anything I have to say. He's like, nope, I suck. This is terrible. But that's why I'm glad he's gotten better, and he's found his footing, because it's like now he's more receptive. You know, he does well, and obviously when you do well, you're happier. And if you want to talk technique, with him, he's a lot more receptive to it. Whereas if he's really, you know, he's not doing well, um, he gets in his own head and then he just thinks he sucks for the rest of his, you know, for the rest of the time. And it's just like, dude, you can't do that. You you gotta recognize what's going wrong, adjust. Like, like I did this past Friday, which I was really happy about the fact that I even recognized it in the first place. Dude, I haven't seen this chick constantly. You want to make your mind up as to where you're going? Jeez. Winter hold, wind helm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. But yeah, that was when he was still throwing two-handed. And the thing is, is that he was set in his ways, with, like we all basically get. With the way that we do things. Oh, Windhelm's this way. Um, we get set in our ways the way that we do certain things, especially with bowling. You know, you, you, you get comfortable doing throwing the ball a certain way. You're going to keep doing it that way. Even if it may not be accurate or consistent or whatever, you're just used to it. And he used to two-hand the ball and have straight arms when he threw it. Like, his arms were locked in. There was no bending. There was no... Because with two hand, you're supposed to throw it like a ripcord effect. You know, you bend at the elbow, and then you just rip. You know, when you when you release it, you get maximum revs, which is the way, the, the point of two hand. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, yeah, that sucks. It's like I recognize you idiots. <laughs> it still gets me every time, dude. <sighs> it's still funny. It's still funny, and it still just catches me off guard every time. Uh, it's so good. How are you vigilance going to let these vampires beat you every time? Oh, she got bent over backwards, dude. No, no, no. 
yeah, it's still it still gets me every time. It's funny as hell to watch them get thrown across the world. Thank you for patronage. Wait, so what are the option other options? What do you need, darling? Did she just say darling? Until next time, guardian. She calls me guardian? Yo, let's go. It's been an honor. The Twilight watches us all, Guardian. I think she said Guardian, not Darling. So Azura isn't giving you more visions? No. She said my part was over. That my fate had moved beyond the Twilight, and I was on my own. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not need me. I still have my duty. But for the first time, I feel alone. Well, you're not alone. You're with me. I still got to figure out what kind of gear to give. Because she uses lightning. I mean, she uses everything, let's be honest. But she calls in a flame atronach more often than not. She'll call in the frost atronach too. But I think she calls in the flame atronach a lot more. So... Wait, is this on the way to Windhelm? Do we really pass by this set of housing? Oh, here's a lumber mill. So maybe, maybe they'll have it stacked the way that I'm trying to describe. No, they don't. Damn it. Um, I'm just looking for a stack of wood that kind of resembles what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to tell you guys the way I'd like to stack it because it would go a lot faster. I'd have no problem helping him stack the wood if I could stack the wood that way. I think some of you guys understand what I was trying to say. You just stack it, like, you know, stack them on top of each other. We don't need the blue, right? Yeah. No, we need the blue. We don't need the red. All right, let's... <laughs> Adam, your brain. Um, there's, yeah, we don't need the red. We need the blue. There we go. So anyway, um, so two-handed, the way that you bowl two-handed is that you want to use the entirety of your body, your upper body, in a twisting motion. It's a very different... What's this? Dragon's tongue. It's a very, very different feeling to standard bowling, which is you just... Oh, resist fire, yes. Um, you, you're just swinging, your, you're letting your arm swing. A lot of the pro bowlers, they don't really try and force their arm to swing, they just let it swing. And it's the perfect... Oh my god! It's the perfect way to actually bowl, because then then physics just takes over, gravity takes over, and your arm just swings freely. And generally, I've found I'm more accurate when I just let my arm do its thing. Um, but anyway, two-handed is very different from that, in that uh, it... It requires you to use the majority of your upper body to put the power into the throw. You know, the speed and the and the revolutions that you put on the on the ball. It's all dependent on your technique. Um, with how you how you use your upper body, it's very different feeling very different technique and if you're not used to it well but Dimitri he did not do it that way he just his arms were stiff and straight and then his upper body barely moved um, which was not not correct it's not that he was bad at it it's just that you know everybody's got their own way of throwing the bowling ball we've seen some wild techniques let me tell you uh, and if some of you are bowlers, you might have seen the Hadouken technique. Yeah, that that's a weird one. Um, but somehow, it, 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 wicked revolutions out of that. And some people are really good at it. So I'm like, how do you do that? Um, but his two-handed technique was not really producing. It was producing revolutions, but not in the right way, it would seem. Because every time I used it, the ball did exactly what I wanted it to. Albeit... Not very accurately, because I, I wasn't accurate with my two-handed technique. Um, 
And so when we were, there was one time we went to um, a local bowling alley when uh, when our main one was closed, and you know we 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 played ten games, ten. It's nuts. There, this is what I'm talking about. That's the way I want to stack the wood right there. Just kind of like stack on top of each other. I think it's a nice, it's a neat way to stack wood. You know, you don't necessarily have to stack it. I mean, we could stack it on the pallet. That'd be fine. It's just, I would like to stack it that way. It'd be a lot easier because then I'd just be loading them up in the wheelbarrow and dumping them out. But he doesn't like that because it's not enough space in between the logs in order to, in order to have airflow. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, that's the way I wanted to stack the wood. So, uh, when we were doing, when we were going through those 10 games, uh, I did eventually get him to do it properly once. And he was like, wow, yeah, that was a big difference. But, yes. My ship's ready to say. but the problem is that he couldn't, he, he, he kind of didn't keep with that, that technique because it was not something that he was used to. And just, it, you know, eventually he settled on one hand, but only two, two fingers, no thumb hole that ended up working out so much better for him. And I'm happy that it did because he felt like it felt like he just didn't have his own own way of bowling, you know, his own technique. And now he does. OK, so we're finally here. Locate the hidden stash of Ember brand wine in Raven Rock. OK, so it's a hidden stash. Obviously, it wouldn't make sense for it to actually just show me where it is. Local map. There we go. But where would it be? That's the question. And do I bother? <laughs> That's the other question. Look at this. Alchemy Station. Right out in the middle of the open. Nice. Visibility. Yeah. No, I need the Nern route. Um... Oh, wow. I got a lot of purple mountain flowers. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is resist frost. Look at how long it's taking to get one level. That is nuts. I'm about to weigh myself down with potions. Uh, do this and this. So red. Oh, that's restored. Well, okay. Here's the thing. We can make the potions and sell them. This is purely to level up. Yes. That was awesome. Okay, cool. Now we just got to sell the potions. The ash Looking for any potions? <clears throat> Alchemical supplies. How has Raven Rock needed your help? Mm -hmm. Hunting for game has been scarce, and the waters are apparently too tainted for fishing. According to Counselor Morvane, my husband's been Raven Rock's most important food source for decades. That's good. He's got business. You're selling quite a few exotic ingredients. Yes, I'm proud to say that I grow and harvest most of it myself. Mm, good job. I only wish I had a better source for net jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. Ah, I could gather some for you. That would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. Well, I still have the the one nest jelly I had I got. <laughs> ah, so you're an alchemist then. Uh restore health. Ash hopper jelly. Uh okay, we don't have that. Let's get that one. Weakness of fire, restore stam, resist fire. There we go. Fire. Resist magic, yeah. Cure disease, absolutely. Uh, 
Regenerate Magicka, Ravage, Regenerate Magicka, Ravage Magicka. Okay, we're good there. Uh, I'm going to sell her <laughs> potions that I don't need. I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, resist cold, cure disease, extreme healing, stamina, fortify health, fortify sneak. Okay. I don't really need... I mean, getting my sneak up would be nice, but... Eh. I'm going to sell her that. Fortify two-handed. Okay. If I ever switch to my two-handed, I'll use that. Stamina, plentiful healing, regenerate health, regenerate magic. There we go. There it is. 990? She gave me almost a thousand gold for all that? Holy crap. Now she has no more money. <laughs> I'm. Okay. Well, no problem. I got no issue with this. All right. We'll. we'll Deal with that in a second. Let's go kill some Netches. Head over to the wretched Netch if you ask. I mean, uh, it's not going to show me. So I think they're out there, though. Somewhere. I don't think we've even scratched the surface of what we can do here in Raven Rock. Like, this was an entire expansion. There's got to be a lot more to do than this, right? We've unlocked, I think, just about every single... Every single location here. We had to. I think we finished the large, you know, the large majority of the main quest line, I believe. Trauma root. Weakness to shock. Again, I want to make the potions that I need, but I mean... Okay, that is a food. I drop that. Don't need it. Um, but I do want to just improve my alchemy because I need to in order to spend points. Uh, what was that? Shit. Scathe Craw. Ravage Health. Okay. A lot of the stuff here is just, hey, do some damage to everything. Right, is this guy going to attack me or what? Yeah, he is. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. All right. Yeah, you you're going to force my hand and make me use my my shout. I hate those guys. All right. I be the netches, those are the really tall things, aren't they? Also, we haven't done a quick save in a while. Uh, let's get a po let's get my potions. Um, got a lot of resist magic, which is good. Restore health, sixty four, sixty five. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty powerful. Okay, so that's... That's a ship that I haven't done anything with yet. But it does look like I've pretty much covered... There's one. I've pretty much covered the entire island, right? I don't think... I don't know if Soul's Time is an island. I mean, based on the map and the way it looks, it is. Yeah, it's an island. Um, there's Frossel. It's one place we haven't been to. <sighs> right, that's a Netch. There's little Netchlings over here. Are these guys Netches, right? Hey, you guys are Netches, right? What are you? I think. Betty... Betty Netch? You have a name? <laughs> I mean, at least it's a nice big target. Ooh, we're almost... We're almost maxed on the... Dude, we're almost maxed. Let's go! Alright, that's that one. Uh, right. I was trying to... 
Netch calf. Wait, Arnea, is she down already? Uh oh. I mean, if that thing did that much damage to me, then it definitely did a lot of damage to her. Yeah, she's down. Damn it. This is why I gotta get her better gear. I just don't know what gear. All right, that's one calf down. Ah, all right, there we go. Are they gonna have the jelly too? Yeah, they do. The big guys definitely have it then. Netch leather. Oh, that might be, I don't know if that'll be good gear, but not for me anyway. I'm all about that heavy. All right. Well, that was easy. Found a group of four. Boom. Done. I already had one, so. <laughs> Let's discover this. Let's discover this ship. See what it's all about. They're probably going to attack us, but, you know, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so. Bowling. Right. Uh, so anyway, way back to what I was talking about with the team we faced on Friday. We had to show up, basically, That in that game because they were so bad. And it it, it benefits to be bad with, with a handicap series. Oh, they are. They are bad people. All right, cool. Um, because you then get a higher handicap. And that means more pins for you to have on top of... It, it gives you more pins at the start of the game. They had 227 pins on us. We, that we had to make up with our games. So we had to do really well. And I'm happy to say that I did a lot better than I expected. Which I'm really... I wasn't even moving! I dare fight whoever is trying to kill me. Ooh, that one was in the face. I got him. I think she killed him, though. Um, They had 227 pins, so we had to do well. We had to do well. Period. There's, there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We had to do well, otherwise... We were going to lose, and we luckily won. One of the games, I think we only won by a small amount, and I mean small. It was like six pins or whatever. So it was tough to make up 200 pins. That's a lot. And so that's the downside with a handicap league is that, you know, you have to, you got to make up a lot of ground when one team is like really bad. And they were. Like I said, Dan was the only good player on their team. If he wasn't such a crabby old man, he'd still be on our team. But he is, so he's not. I think he's a lot less crabby now that he's on a really bad team. But he could be up in fifth place with us. Now they, I don't know, they might actually be ahead of us because of the fact that their their handicaps are so large. So they might have, they might be, you know, in fourth or third place. I don't know, but they don't really have to try so hard because their, their handicap takes care of it for them. Um, but I doubt it because they have to actually win in order to get points and... Your placement is based on points, so. So, there was nothing to this place. It was just simply a ship that we could attack and take the spoils of. Oh, for God's sake, man. Oh, for God's sake. So, 
yeah, he'd be on our team if he just, you know, had a better attitude about the whole thing. But that's, uh, that's his problem. And now he has to deal with that. I don't know if I needed that, but you know, the heart, the heart stone there is a bit on the rare side. So best to take it now. All right. Ooh, nice. Dude, the Nordic armor looks so sick. I really like that armor too. I'm not gonna lie, I might actually prefer it, but do I have anything special on this armor or is it just, yeah, like bow, I got the bow thing there. This ebony armor can easily be replaced with the Daedric, or, or with the, yeah, with the, the um, what was that? Nordic armor. I think I have the Nordic armor, but I'm not sure. I know I have the helmet, that's for sure. So I might have the entire set back at my helm, but that's of course in Windhelm, which is perfect. You know, if I ever want to go back to Windhelm, it's literally a boat right away, which is great. I'm, I'm glad that, you know, Solstheim and Windhelm are connected like this. Every time I come out of here, there's a freaking mage out here who wants to kill me. All right, we're going to go give her this quest or give her this stuff. We'll be done with it. So, yeah, we had 227 pins to make up. Good Lord. It was a struggle, but, you know, especially with the first game. First game was not good for uh, Nicole. And I think Tony had a really rough first game as well. But then he picked up second and third game. <laughs> But Dimitri and I picked up the slack in the first game, and I think that was the one that we barely won. The heck is going on over here? Why are you guys gathering around here? Hey. I work for Mogul. You got a problem? You talk to him. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. I think you need to chill. I have that net jelly for you. Nah. Here, take these. Potion of ultimate well-being. Of ultimate well-being. What the heck is that? <laughs> what does that do? Restore 100 points of health. Restore 100 points of magicka. Restore 100 points. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's not... Uh, oh, why did that change? What exactly is ash-grown food? The Dunmer have been growing food in the Ashlands for thousands of years. It was born out of the necessity to survive in the harsh climate of mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. And now, with the constant eruptions of the Red Mountain, it's more important than ever. Is magic involved? No. Only the Tolvani have the ability to weave living growth from the ash. This simply takes the right ingredients, the right tools, and a lot of patience. What do you have for sale? All sorts of useful things. Feel free to browse. Well, let's see what kind of alleged useful things you have. <sighs> Looks like food, mostly. Yeah, you don't have... What do you give me for these? Take a look at what I have, and maybe we can make a deal. So that's just another thing to open up the shop? Next time you're hungry, Doesn't make any sense. Don't pity me. And don't look at me like that. I know what I am. Do you? Don't waste your life like I did. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. I work for most Yeah, shut up. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Our, oh, I, yeah, this is the guy. Elizabeth told me that it's a quest from this guy. You get the axe and then you can go. Okay, here we go. What exactly do you sell here? The question you should be asking is, 
What don't I sell here? Because I have pretty much any supplies you might need. You get blood from a if it's not a weapon, potion, or armor, then it's likely that I have it. Where did you get all these items? Jarland, over at the docks, brings me most of my supplies. And the rest comes from bartering with the people in town. Oh, Glover Mallory gets me a few things once in a while. He usually has the most amazing deals that I can't pass up. Are sales that bad out here? Bad? What if I told you that you're the first person that's even considered looking at my wares today? Oh, that's bad. I've half a mind to contact my friends at the East Empire Company and see if they need an extra hand in Windhelm. You have friends in the East Empire Company? Oh, absolutely. That's that dock next to, um, Solitude. More than once. You know, the lady who runs the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. The biggest warehouse they have in Skyrim. Okay. Ah, you're just like the rest of the folks around here. I wouldn't say that. My words. The East Empire Company will return to Ravenrock. And when they do, I'll be at the top of their list. Do you sell any special mining gear? Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. What's an East Empire pendant? It's an amulet that was made exclusively for the East Empire Company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point. A kind of reward for extra effort. They're no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. Where can you find them? They could be anywhere on the island. The mines might be a good place to start. If you find any while you're exploring Solstein, bring them here. Excuse me, I'll pay you. Do you have any plans for the west end of town? Locate the East Empire in Raven Rock. What have you got for sale? So, ooh, he's got arrows. I'll take all of them. He's got a wooden sword. Um, hmm. Take that. I guess I'll take that. 1280 for that. We got like tons of lockpicks, so really completely pointless of me to buy that, but whatever. So, uh, never mind. I thought this was the guy. But if he had the quest, he would have given it to me. Damn. I thought I thought I found him. Never mind. Uh, but you know, if I can actually get East Empire pendants, then that'll be fine. Miserable, just miserable. This island's nothing but a pile of rubble. What's the point trying to make a life here? You don't like it on Soul's time? Don't like it. I hate it. Then why are you here? Every day it's the same thing. We open the shop. We hardly sell a thing. We close the shop and go to sleep. What kind of a life is that? Why not return to Morrowind? Oh, believe me. I'd be on the first ship off this miserable island if I could. But I'm not sure I could do that to my father. I think it would break his heart. We've already lost my mother. I don't want to leave him alone. Remember when family mattered the most? <laughs> How did your mother die? We lived in a settlement perhaps a league from the border of Black Marsh, the homeland of the Argonians. Even though the Argonian invasion ended a long time ago, there are still a few scale-skinned clans that live within our borders. To put it simply, they attacked our settlement and slaughtered almost everyone. It was horrible. Keep yourself safe. Assisting the Redoran Guard with the Ash Spawn attacks has earned you quite the reputation here. Keep it up. Not to work. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taking. Oh, there it is. Action. Okay. There it is. Why all the fuss over a simple pickaxe? No, no, no. This isn't just your run of the mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. There it is. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. I need it. K 
Can't you just get the guard to find Cressius? Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Nice. Man who likes to get things done. I like it. Tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. I noticed the shadow mark by your door. Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my what guild? Oh. Still spending his nights at the ragged flagon trying to win Vex's heart. He's well. Good to hear. Damn layabout never even bothers to send his own. That's cool. They have actually characters connecting. Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Nothing at all. Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. The Thieves' Guild has a problem out here? Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. Hmm. What did you do? A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up at my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did. And I thought he was one of us. He stole something from you, right? Uh, pfft, wow, that was awful. He stole something from you, right? That he did. Right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? Yeah, you should have seen it. It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. Where's Esmond Tyne now? Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers, but he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. I'll get that formula back for you. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. Well, I do need that pickaxe. How did you end up in Raven Rock? A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell, but I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Raven Rock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. Who taught you that? I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Rife, a very talented armor smith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. What's an ancient Nordic pickaxe? It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stalrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. Is Stalrim a type of ore? Calling Stalrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Ooh. Some folks say it's enchanted ice. Ah, they, yep, There's more to I remember. That. I assume it's rare. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. Sick. All right. He better give that pickaxe back to me or else. No problem, boss. I'll get it back for you. We found it, though. Dude, we did the classic RPG thing, and we just went around talking to everybody. I love it. Part of me does miss those days sometimes, you know? It's just like you just go around, you get to learn different things about different people, and you run across a quest. I mean... That didn't really happen in JRPGs, but in this game, for sure, like you're bound to get a, a quest or two. And I'm happy to see that we're still not short of anything in this uh, in this area for quests. I'm happy to see that. Damn it, woman. Why you said to leave me be? Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. I'm not spending the rest of my days as a widow. And I'm telling you that I'll do whatever it takes to find my great grandfather's remains. He's down here. I can feel it. That was almost two centuries ago. There may be nothing left to find. Just let me go, woman. 
Grecius, you're an obstinate old fool, and you're going to get yourself killed. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Your wife is upset. Who in those places are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Busy doing what? Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. <clears throat> Perhaps I could help. Hmm. Maybe. Been difficult trusting people lately. They think I'm crazy. But mark my words, these mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. What sort of secret would be hidden here? A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mind. Who was your great grandfather? Gratian Chirelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel. And he died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. Mm. How did he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall, but I know better. What's your proof? My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. What did the letter say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. The key is the it the key is to the locked section? It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. I admit, this does sound suspicious. Finally! Someone who believes me! I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Why are you telling me all of this? Look, my wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. You are. Time's my enemy. It caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. So you do need my help. I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian, and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Any idea where to start? Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me, so I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Are you sure Gratian's death wasn't an accident? Look, I know I don't have much to go on. I have that unsent letter, and that's really it. But I also have a miner's instinct that's run in my family from before Gratian was even born. I may sound like a crazy old man to you. Nah. But I'm telling you, Everybody in this land is crazy. Solid. They would never collapse like that. Why are you why were you arguing? Wow, I can't read. Why were you arguing with Afia? She thinks that old age is out of my mind. That I'm seeing things when there's nothing to be seen. I realize she cares about me, but she has to understand that I can't rest until I find out what happened to Gracia. What if she's right and I don't find anything? Then I'll settle down peacefully and never set foot in this mine again. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Even before I discovered Gratian's old things. I just hope both of you don't mistake my enthusiasm for insanity. Too late. Glover wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the Skald in the first place. Probably true. Let me think about this. Good. Now let me get back to what I was doing. Alright, I want to do... I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know if that... If, if it would have initiated, like, me... Just taking it from him. Possibly killing him before I could get this finished. So, let's... Let's do that. But before we do that... I'll be right back. Okay, alright, we're back. Um, let's do this. Oh wait, so it's it's 
No, it is in here. Yeah, okay, okay. We have to go down here. No problem. I got this. Oh. Just a stupid little skeever. You can give me my arrow back? Yeah, good boy. Alright, now he said the lower sections of the mine. Do I have my candlelight thing? There it is. Because I can't see a damn thing. And spiders. Of course. And you're dead. Get back that arrow. The heck was that? What is all that? What is this? Like heat? Hello? Uh. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oop. Where? Where was the enemy that was supposedly going to attack me there? What the hell? I'm just going to do a quick save. No wonder it's dangerous down here. There's droggers. There's no way he would have been able to do this. A death lord. Two Death Lords. Oh, that's lovely. Alright. One down, one to go. Just gotta keep my distance, that's all. Hey, dodge it. Oh, where are you going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys aren't supposed to run? Like, who does that? Also, where was that trigger? I'm surprised he ran past it. All right, the other one's over here. All right, all right. And then the other one, I think, it was in this corner. There she is. Okay. Give me back my arrows. I don't know where that trigger is. I'd rather not find out. RNA will probably find it. <laughs> I should get smacked halfway across the freaking room. The heck was that? Hello? You dead? Got elven armor, but he's not wearing it. Oops. Nope, he's dead, dead. Okay. Damn it, I keep doing that. You know, if, if my sneak was like, if my sneak was way up, <laughs> I could probably just be like crouched right in front of him and he still wouldn't see me. I feel like that's, 
that would be a thing because I mean he didn't discover me yet I was I was still crouched and he didn't fully discover me yet so I find that funny <laughs> that he probably wouldn't have discovered me if I didn't actually like stand up Oh, there was somebody else. What the hell? Dude, I've got so many freaking thumbnail worthy shots here. I love it. Wait, this guy would have been up if uh, he'd be up and fighting if he was alive. All right, let's let's try and see if we can get our sneak up a little bit here. We, we barely ever work on it, so. Dude, I literally walked right up to him and he didn't move. Get the hell out of here. Are you kidding me? I didn't know you could do that. Okay, he's dead, dead. He is definitely not dead. Oh my god. And because I am crouched, so I'm sneaking. Uh, I still get the higher chance of the uh, critical strike. Look. She still doesn't see me. Okay, he sees me. You had to ruin it, didn't you? Whoa, he's a... He's a Uh-oh. This would be a moment to have resist frost, because, well, they're all frost. This guy's a frost, anyway. Stop it. Okay. Good. It's fine. Uh, might as well use this. You know, not really going to use them either way. Probably could have sold it back to her. I'm not going to lie. Dude, you guys got nothing on me. Only give me one arrow back, you cheapskate. I think I already, yeah, I just that one. Like, I don't even know if she'd be able to use heavy armor. I think you could only give her light armor. Oh. Okay, it's not straight up, but it is slightly to the left or right. Slightly. Yeah, boy. Conjuring. Stalrim arrow. Ooh, new type of arrow. I kill this guy. Oh, here we go. I mean, of course I killed him, but I, I wasn't sure if I Get back that arrow. That is definitely a. I mean, it looks like a trap. The you know the fire throwing ones, aha! That's exactly like in the other cave. Oh, he's not alive. Oh, <gasps> he has dragon scale armor. Yo, what? I've I don't. Mm. The weight is only ten, so I could carry it. But that's the light armor. I want the dragon bone armor. That would be the armor that I'd want to uh, make. Dragon bone, dragon scale is light. Which I knew that, but I mean, I never expected to find it in the open world. Like, holy crap, that's cool. What's that? Draft of strength. 
We have an alchemy station. Nice. Frost salts. You know what that probably does. Uh, fire salts. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Can I take that? Hold on. Yes. Nice. I don't know what it does. I, I don't know why I keep doing this. I want to find out. Netch jelly. Paralysis. I'd rather not do that to myself right now. And I got resist magic. Nice. No. Restore health. Hopper jelly. Okay. Again, just making these so I can... So I can improve my alchemy. That is all. Ah, you s That's enough of that. You can take down my magic. I don't care about that. I will not tolerate you damaging me. I'm just walking on the top. It's caught. RNA, now you're blocking my shot. Dude, how many Death Lords are we going to deal with? Yeah, this old man would have been dead the moment he stepped foot in this area. Oh! Okay, they doubled up. Knocked me over. I see. I'm still sneaking, though. <laughs> Thank you. Sneak increase to 69. Nice. Wait. A Death Lord with a bow and arrow? Since when? I'm constantly getting the critical strike because I'm still sneaking. I'm still unseen. Now, this is where I would use the stamina potions. Um, just because. I'm using this feature a lot more in this cave. Catch him. Got him. Oh, look at that, huh? Knocking him over. Yeah, dude. We reached 100 with our archery. What up? Boosh. Last one. He's not going to move. Huh. Oh, man. Did I just clear the room? I mean, this guy is the only one who actually basically knew where it was coming from. But I didn't give him a chance to do anything. Nice. 95. Mine's probably what? 107. Yeah. It's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that. I'll take that. Nice. Cleared the room and I wasn't even detected yet. I love it. So I'm going to have to come in here back in here when I got that the pickaxe there once I take it away from him or whatever all right first things first let's get the chest unlocked we just did a master one so this should be simple I've got tons of lock picks so no worries nope ah, too far nope 
it's only like right here. Nailed it. Dude, look at that. I'm an expert. We leveled. Hell yeah, dude, we leveled. Let's go. All right. Um, more health. Mm. Health is pretty much the only thing I'm gonna be increasing because it's like... Ah! 20% chance of critical hit that does 50% more critical damage. Then bullseye, 15% of paralyzing the target for a few seconds. That might be worth it. Um... Any other ones that have multiple levels? No, just this one. Screw it, let's max it out. That's what we're doing, right? Oosh. Archery is maxed. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, is heavy armor? Yep, that one's maxed. I think? Five out of five. Matching set. Yeah, everything's maxed here. So, heavy armor's maxed. Archery is maxed. Uh, so, I think at this point, we'd probably just go with alchemy. But again, we have to level it up first. So, we have a lot of work to do. We still have a point left over, which is good. Now what? No idea what that did. I'm guessing it opened. Oh, it opened that. Okay. I was looking right at it, too. The buffoonery continues. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to take. I don't know how I'm going to take that pickaxe from him, but. Hopefully he'll just give it to me. Ah, you little bastard. Alright. No more of that crap, alright? Knock it off. Alright, well, I'm not going to leave this here. Whatever this book is. I just thought that the... Uh, that soul gem was going to give me a hard time. Spell tome, ice spike. All right. Well, I don't. I don't need that. I don't know if I have the spell, but I'm not going to be using it, so it doesn't matter. Quick save, real quick. We're almost there, I think. The icon's getting bigger on my compass, so. Ah! 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 Oh, I hit it again! Ah! You bastard! Oh no, I'm poisoned. Uh... I literally could probably break the majority of my lockpicks and I would level up either way, which is hilarious. Arnea, you didn't learn from my mistake, did you? There it is. Dude, it's in damn near pitch black there, so... Ow! Whoa. Uh, I guess I just dropped down then, huh? I think this is what the East Empire Company didn't want him to know about. Whoa. I should, mm, I should probably pick, keep picking up all the, you know, ingredients. Whether or not it's a... Whether or not it's something that I need to make a potion of is irrelevant. I need to actually just make potions. Ooh. Uh, roll of paper. Elixir of Vigor. I could use some Vigor, I guess. I don't know. There he is. 
Blood Skull Blade releases energy blasts with power attacks that deal 30 damage. I'm taking that. Well, obviously I'm going to read it. Hmm. <sighs> Actually, wow, it's actually quite a lot. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. He just documented everything. Uh, so, wait. How much you want to bet that journal tells us how to get in here? Uh, okay, so. Against my own better judgment, to remove the Blood Skull Blade from its pedestal. Milia seems completely against it, but I, we need to bring this wondrous artifact with us when we find a way out of the barrow. Something to them I'm missing as they've confounded my attempts at getting through. I'll have to study this further in order to make any progress barely can keep awake. I'm fairly certain that the key to the door involves the use of the Blood Skull Blade. When swinging the weapon, I'm noticing a ribbon of mystical energy emanating from it. I think by swinging the sword in different directions, it's possible to manipulate this ribbon and solve whatever puzzle this door presents. I hope to get well enough. Okay, that's what I thought. I knew it. I looked at that thing and I was like, hmm, dude, shall we? I don't know how to swing it in different directions, I guess. There you go. That's cool. That's sick. All right. Ah, there we go. What is... This is insane. At least they're generous with the hitbox. Ah! What? Dude, come on. This is cool. Brother. This is sick. Sadly, though, we're at it. We're out of time. <laughs> wow, that was cool, man. That was a really cool puzzle. I like that. Let's do a quick save. Yeah, we're a little over time, so got to stop it here. But that's sick, man. I can't wait to explore more. Oh, man, I wish I had actually talked to more people while I was here because I would have gotten this quest and many others. Well, let's go! We found the pickaxe quest. We're going to continue this in the next episode. And uh, we'll get this. We'll get all this done first. We'll get the pickaxe. Hopefully we can do all this. Get the pickaxe and then go back to that cave. To do that other quest. Um, and then also. We'll probably. Come back down here and get the ice chiseled out of that one spot that we saw once we have the pickaxe but that's going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for joining me and please join me again in the next one where we continue on with this insane quest which is really honestly one of the coolest ones so far and see what's at the end of this tunnel what was the east company whatever they're called east empire company really hiding down here we'll find out next time but until then I'm Adam Wolf. This is Skyrim. And I'll see you guys later.